Now, the first thing you want to do is lay some sticks down. I'm making this uh, new one here, six across. This one has a wider face just because I felt like I wanted a big display, so I made it 10 across. Um, so it's up to you how big you want your scarecrow. And then I'm gonna put aside two sticks because these are gonna be put across like this. So it's like cross tying them so you don't have to struggle to put glue on the sides here and try to stick them like that because it's just gonna take too long and you're gonna have to wait and let it dry and it's just gonna slow down your process. So even I am using Elmer's glue, it does have to dry to stick very well so this is a good tactic to keep in mind. Um, there is a gap here Unlike the one that has 10, you won't have an issue with that. Um, the longer, uh, the, or the wider, I should say, you want your scarecrow to be, the less complicated. But if you want to make it smaller like this, all you have to do is mark it down. Um, I'm going to mark it approximately right here, and same right there, same there, same there. And then I'm going to use my scissors to cut it. If you have your parents' permission or your parents' help, a knife might be easier, but scissors work just fine. And I have kid-friendly scissors here, so there's really no excuse. This craft is very easy and very home-based. Now that my sides are all chopped off and even and glued down, I went ahead and drew my smile. Now you wanna make sure it's pretty even. You don't want a huge smile that goes off of the canvas. Um, because that's unrealistic and although this is a drawing, you want to make it look like a scarecrow. And you want to just pretty much draw a U-shape. I measured it. I do have six, um, six popsicle sticks. So I started in the middle, drew one line, drew another line. Start in the middle, drew one line, started another line. And I just went like this and this is just the stitches and you can add more if you want your scarecrow to have more detail you can add some little stitches in there I drew some big ones at first but I'm gonna add some little ones and there's the start of your smile and if you even want to add some dimples like I did my last one I'm trying to make this one different but hello excuse me I'm struggling here all you have to do is just make another U shape was I blocking the camera the entire time? Wow. Um, guys, bear with me. So you want to make another U shape. And then you could draw some freckles. I'm going to use orange, like I said, stained by Sharpie. You guys, it has saved my life with these crafts. And draw some dots. I usually draw three. That's like a typical cartoon look. But we'll make it realistic and draw some more. And maybe we'll draw some more on this side, even though he's not smiling on this side. We'll draw some more. Now, when it gets to the eyes, everybody freaks out and worry that they don't want their eyes to be uneven or cross-eyed or look crazy. But that's the best part of being artistic. You can make this however you want. So if you want some crazy, silly eyes, please be my guest and do so. Um, this one has some really big eyes. I left a little bit of a space untouched with the black to make it look like it was the eyeball or just that it was glaring in that direction um but for these ones i'm gonna be really 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 simple all i'm gonna do and you want to remember that you're gonna have a triangle nose so i am picturing a triangle nose here i'm, I'm gonna leave that area alone so i'm gonna shoot up a little bit and um what i'm gonna do is a really really simple eye trick that maybe a lot of you have already seen cartoonists and animation people do or anybody that wants to get a drawing over with all you're gonna do is make another you another smiley face add some stitches like to the top but you're not gonna have it all the way across these are the lashes and then like i said i'm always following the middle i have six Six lines, so three, one, two, three, I found the middle. I'm not gonna touch that space there. If you're worried about making it even, boom, starts right about here, goes right about there. Once you add the lashes on, you can't really count. I'm gonna add some more here to just do that. And 
I did mess up. You guys probably see me cross a little bit right there. But I can always make my eyeball pieces here thicker. And the lashes won't be looking as much as they are. Won't be looking as much as stitches as they did. Fair enough, right? Doesn't look like a scarecrow yet, but we're working on it. The next thing you want to work on is your nose. I have a full sheet of paper here. I'm going to focus on this corner and just chop that. As even as I possibly can, I'm going to chop that across because you know, this already gives you a, a sort of like a a base or a body to make the nose out of. See, now I have this triangle piece. Of course, it's not going to fit there. It's going to look very weird and very funky, but you see this skinny tip that I have here, or even this skinny tip, any tip that you think is unique and you like it, go ahead and cut that off. So now that I got that cut off, here's my nose. Now I'm using white construction paper because I know not a lot of people have con colored construction paper. Um, and line paper works fine too. All I did was cut that, you guys seen, and then I'm gonna use my bottom base here to color it. And excuse my nails, I have been busy doing some real hard work. <laughs> and these and the nail salons are closed. Um, so now that I got that color, I'm going to go ahead and just stick it on. You want to stick it on, let that dry. Now, up to you. You can leave this like this, or you could do as I'm doing, or you could not do as a mistake as you guys just saw. I should have let it dry first, but I'm impatient. Don't be like me. Don't be very patient with your artwork. I outlined it, and now I'm gonna add some stitch marks because scarecrows, for some reason, are known to have a bunch of stitches. Stitch marks. Ooh. And now it's time for that and added some more details. I dropped another U shape, drew my tongue in there and made it look like he was smiling or laughing or maybe even his sticking his tongue out. Whatever the case may be, I like it. I went with it. However you want your smiley face to be. If you want him to be angry, let him be angry. Um, I drew some brown into the freckles. I left the nose alone. Kind of thickened out the lashes a bit, but of course every scarecrow needs a hat. So I once again glued down another popsicle stick, colored it brown with a marker, or you could buy popsicle sticks already colored. Um, and then I measured that with some paper and behind it, outlined the hat, um, and I colored it. But I kind of left some patterns in this hat to make it give that cross tie look, like a sewn look, just how the stitches look on a scarecrow. Um, that's what I went with. So now, you have two designs to go with. They both were made the exact same way, just different styles, different looks. It's completely up to you how to make your very own scarecrow. Fall is right around the corner, so it was great and easy, cheap decorations to put around your house. 